Hey guys, Zen up here. Today we're going to be checking out the NB10000 Ultra Lightweight Energy Brick from Nightcore. Over the past few weeks I've been using this battery for everyday life and I have now come to my thoughts on it. First off, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery so it can charge up your phone a few times. It is rechargeable here uh, by the USB-C. You can input or output here and here is just, uh, I think they're calling it USB-A now and this is only for output. This puts out a lot of power and it charges up my phone crazy fast even when I'm watching videos or gaming on my phone it will still charge faster than my brightest fastest settings on my phone so that is pretty cool but it is too much for say uh, my headphones here so one of the things you can do is if you push down on this button it will pop a little light up did I cover the light? nope I don't know if you guys can see that or not so there's a little white light in there and now when it uh, sends out power it will send out a lower amount of power so it can charge uh, devices that do not get a full like 5 volt 3 amp charge and then again you can push this again and turn that off and now I don't know if you guys can tell but that light is off that's pretty cool I don't think I'll ever use that because everything nowadays is coming out for USB-C and I have other chargers that can charge like uh, my headphones and my lights and stuff like that that don't take this much. So that's still kind of cool. The other thing, this thing is durable. This is carbon fiber all the way wrapped around this thing. Not up here so much and not down here so much, but this is durable. So you, it can be kind of abused. Uh, I still don't like to abuse batteries, but it can withstand a little bit of torture and speaking of torture we're going to try something out here in a bit i was reading the manual online and it has an ipx rating and that only means that it is uh for waterproofing so if we're going to dunk this thing in some water at the end of the video just in case it doesn't work and i can edit that out one of the cool things about this battery is that while you are charging it from the wall outlet or wherever it is your power line's coming in from, it will also output to your device, your phone, your whatever. So you can see here that we are charging at now 97% charged, and that is cool until this device gets to 100%. As long as this cord is plugged into here and you are trying to charge a device, once it gets to 100%, it will stop charging it so it will start trickling down and down and down and down and down until it's gone if this isn't connected and the battery is not charging then the phone will keep topped off until this battery is dead and then i'm sure that it'll stop charging it once the battery is on, has no more power now i need a source kind of like this i need the power coming into this and have this be a backup charging battery for this just in case the power goes out so uh, this is a wi-fi hotspot phone for our travel trailer and this controls the signal for the wireless uh, security camera and if the power goes out i still want to be able to have this phone completely topped off and using its mobile hotspot and with this setup I won't be able to do that. So that's one thing that I don't like about this battery. Most people aren't going to find that as an issue. Uh, most people are going to charge it up and then take it off and boom, look at that, it's charging again. So that's how most people are going to use it. It's just not going to work for the application that I have. Here we have the moment of truth. We have a pitcher of water. We have our battery and it is on and it's plugged into our phone here which says it's charging and it's at 100% right now. So this manual says that this battery has an IPX5 rating which is for waterproofing. So we're going to, uh, this seems sketchy, 
dunk uh, our battery into the water. Look at that. It's in the water right now. Oh, that's insane. Look at that. Okay, and you can see we're still charging at 100% right now with the power in the water. Wow. Look at that. Charging. That's insane. Uh, okay. Well, I guess it's waterproof. Uh, I don't know how long I want to leave it in there, though. Okay, not charging. Charging. See, it's topping it off as the power is being used. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so I guess if you are going to uh, go backpacking or something like that, look at the, all the water pouring out of this. Right, let's get something down underneath it. I guess if you're going to take this out and uh, use it in the world, uh, you don't have to worry about rain or mud or anything like that. Uh, the graphite cover keeps it uh, from being damaged water can't damage it this is a pretty cool battery I don't find a use for it somewhere this might be my new everyday carry battery uh, just to have in a backpack or something like that but that was insane right well that's all I have for this video bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.